Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. Okay, so we caught a birdie for a flying vehicle to get out of this place somehow. I don't know how that's all going to work. But for now, we can go in the hot spring and talk to this guy. Inside hot spring, but have coffee? Uh, sure, I guess. Alright, and with that, we are now going to enter... A coffee break! Hey, what do you know? Alright, so we get another one of these things, much like we got whenever we were, uh... Uh, waiting for... Well, no, that's whenever we were taking a shower after we met Kumatora for, like, the second time? I don't remember, but... Alright, so let's see what this thing here has got to say. No one is simply born strong. People only go stronger little by little, by encountering different situations and learning not to run from them, no matter how frightening or daunting they may be. Lucas, that is exactly what you have done to grow strong. However, you did not do it for yourself. You grew strong for those you would otherwise be unable to help. They are the reason you are strong. Even now, you occasionally show a glimpse of it, Lucas. Fleeting images of that once pampered crybaby boy can sometimes be seen in your smile. You've come a very long way. There's no telling what to expect from here on out, but if one thing is certain, it's that those who believe in you will be right there to help. Trust in them. Now go forth toward whatever stands out the most in your eyes. Go, facing not the darkness, but the light. Lucas and his companions. You have driven the enemy into a corner. The enemy's back is to the wall. There's nothing to fear now. Everyone is watching on with complete faith in you. In their hearts, they all say, thank you. Can you hear them? Uh, I don't hear anything. <laughs> okay. So there we go. Yep, there's our little intermission there. And it's right. We have come quite a long way. I mean, you remember how things were at the very, very beginning of the game, you know? So things are a lot different now than they were back then. Both Lucas and, uh, I guess, the story in general have come a pretty long way since then. Alright, so that ends our little break. I don't imagine drinking coffee in a hot spring would be that um, pleasant, really, because you'd be, not only would you be, like, really warm on the outside, but warm on the inside as well. It'd just be, like, really hot, you know? I polished dull thingy to sparkly thingy. You wound up giving your courage badge to the Mr. Saturn. Hey, man, my dad gave that to me. I make sparkly and give back. I make sparkly. Alright, man. Just make sure you give it back. Birdie cage done. Birdie cage, huh? Alright, well, let's go check it out. There we go. Alright. Back through the cave once again. Not that long of a walk when you don't actually stop and talk to them, so... I still don't think they say anything different, but... <laughs> uh, I don't know, I'm very, very tempted to just talk to all of them again, but I can't, I, I can't do it, I just can't. Flying birdie cage done. Oh, really? You ride Flying Birdie Cage? Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> I don't know how we're going to do this, <laughs> so we just hold on to this rope then? Hold it! Hey, Rope Snake, how's it going, man? You guys really think that cheap rope will last all the way to Tasmili with you hanging on it? Do you have a better idea? Have some faith in me. I may have dislocated my jaw that last time, but I still got plenty left in me. Just give me one more chance. Uh, I don't know. You couldn't hold us up before. You're not going to do it here. Ever since what happened, I've I've been toughening up my jaw by crunching walnut shells day after day after day. Yeah, and I ate the stuff inside the shells, too, of course. Now I'm practically like a walnut-cracking jaw with a snake attached. It's really super strong. Please let me try this one more time. I think I'll take my chances with the rope. There's no getting through to you, huh? I'm no longer the snake I was up until yesterday. If I had to compare myself to something, I'd say I'm like a cornered lion. I'm a snake, but also a lion. A snake lion. No, I'm more like a roulette wheel. Make a bet. Uh, that... <laughs> I'd rather take the, uh, sure rope here. Guess that roulette wheel comparison wasn't so hot. But if anything, I'm a pair of dice. Roll me with all your might using the power of your souls. My jaw's the bomb. Come on, I'm being serious here. I, I don't want to wind up being a big fat worm instead of a snake. Come on, you gotta understand how I feel. Let me be all the snake I can be. Please, I'm begging you. See, I haven't had my hands clasped together. <laughs> okay, or I'm so moved. Uh, I'm so moved, I really am. That's what I'm talking about. I knew we could expect great things from you. Lucas, this looks to be a manly journey through the skies. Here goes no something. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use the rope snake and hopefully he won't fail us like he did last time. And birdies are getting away, and there we go. We attach it to the birdie cage, and somehow, miraculously, these things pull us through the air. I, I don't even... <laughs> Look at Boney, he's grabbing onto Lucas's pants and his butt showing. Uh-huh. <laughs> no 
Okay. You doing all right there, Rope Snake? Um. This thing doesn't look very sturdy. Uh oh, we're falling. It's not exactly Rope Snake's fault, though. I mean, at least he's holding us on. Oh. Or maybe not. <laughs> Whoa! Well, at least we fell in water, huh? That's rather convenient. Oh man, I know what is coming up here. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. You bet on me, but it seems you lost, huh? Yep, I fell. As did you, after you bet on me. I think that for a while I'm gonna act like a fat worm and hide myself inside a hole. So don't talk to me. The heroic and cool worm rope snake you once knew is dead. In a tiny quiet voice I say, so long. Aw, rope snake. It's alright, buddy. We, we pretty much got to where we needed to go anyway. Whoa, there, there's an arrow here. What's going on? There's also a pig. Link? The words Oscar and Meyer appeared to me in a dream, but I don't know what they mean. Oscar Meyer. <laughs> Your potential fate, perhaps? Oh, this is Bronson, isn't it? Oh, Lucas, you should take a break here once in a while. A little nap in the sun will really revitalize you. Will you take a break? Uh, nah, we don't need to. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, hey, Bronson's went from doing all his uh, blacksmithing work to uh, just laying out here in the sun. I guess that's one life to live. Uh, there's also a uh, safe frog in a barrel here. No, I don't need anything. Okay, well, let's check out this big arrow here, huh? Whoa, it's a crab. I'm a not very rare imitation crab. Real crabs try to copy our taste, color, and texture, but we just look the other way. What can't be overlooked, though, is Tain Tain Island, south of here. You're out of there, too, right? Pretty much new before I even saw you. You can wait all you want, but no ship's gonna come. You gotta walk across the ocean. First, talk to the sea. Get up real nice and close, and then everything will start from there. Yeah, that is coming up next. <laughs> Let me tell you about it. I'm sure uh, anybody who's played the game knows about Tain Tain Island. It's a legend about mermaids. I've heard a little bit about it. Who said that mermaids use the power of love to rescue people who are drowning? Isn't that such a lovely story? Uh, something like that, I guess. I'm pretty much just killing time at this point because what's coming up next is basically... Uh, I mean, as soon as we talk to the ocean like that crab suggested, we're going to be starting the next area, so... That woman over there, she still keeps looking this way, and she was looking at me at Club Titty Boo, too. I guess she must like me, huh? Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, it's that guy again. Would you guys just go talk to each other already? Jeez, man. Come on. What about you? What have you got? Welcome, uh, welcome uh, to the sea shop. Will you uh, buy us uh, something? Uh, sure. Why not? Aloha coat. Strong against fire, huh? 150 HP and a giant abalone steak. Nice. Okay, I don't need to buy anything here. Let's see what's up here, huh? Wait, is this the rope snake? Earlier, I told you I was going to act like a fat worm and hide myself in a hole. But snakes and worms are completely different things. Just because they're both long doesn't make them the same, you know? Snakes aren't worms. I know I said differently before, but I take it back now. Anyway, I hear everyone's heading into the city to try to make it big. I'm going to go too. Yes, sir. -ree. I'm going to make it so big, I'll be a behemoth of a snake. You're going to freak out I'm going to be so huge. Don't worry, that behemoth of a snake will always be your friend. I'll catch you later. Alright, buddy. What about you two? What do you got to say? What did you want to grow up to be, aside from a comedian? I wanted to be a baker, I guess. What about you? Me? I wanted to be a merman. What? A merman? What kind? I'd be a fish on top and human on bottom. That's entirely backwards. Everybody be suspicious of me, so you can call me a fishy namrim. Nice. <laughs> okay, okay, I've heard enough. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Alright, hey, you guys want to check out the town. We've only got like a minute left, so let's uh, let's go ahead and waste a little bit more time. Let's check out the town. Apparently, according to the Rope Snake, everyone's uh, pretty much been leaving for the big city. And once we get in here, it, you know, it, it seems pretty much the same, I guess, for now. But Say Newport is a place to be now. Say it's a super humongous city. I want to go there. Lightning has stopped recently, but I have a happy box at home, though, so I guess it doesn't really matter to me anyway. I haven't seen Mr. Facade at all lately. Do you suppose he's just busy? No, he, he's definitely very busy, but... Well, Titty Boo closed down, so I came all the way here to look for work. Oh, wow, is this place the sticks or what? Maybe I should have gotten a new pork instead. Lightning used to rain down every day, but then suddenly stopped. The attack seemed so intense at first, but now it's almost casual and like, whatever. Kind of like you. <laughs> I suppose so. Alright, and before we run out of time, let's go up to the bakery. And let's check on fuel one more time. 
And she keeps watching me all annoying like. I wonder if she likes me. Angie. So this chick over here. Joel's got this crazy idea that I like him. That would never, ever happen, just so you know. Oh, poor Fuel. Alright, so anyway, we're about to run out of time. Uh, in the next part, we're going to actually continue on to the next area of the game. So, uh, and it's definitely very, very different from everything. I mean, like, all the different new areas are uh, very, very unique. So, <laughs> and this one is definitely no exception. But anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, we're going to do that in the next part. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.